Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this landscape inside of Gaia. Um, got some water, some nice rock formations, and uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. So first, I start with some bad lines, stratify, and canyonize. So I just really want some nice rock texture. And in 4K, it looks, you can really see it. I'm only using 1K just for a building. Then you, I like to start with a thermal, thermal breaker, erosion at the end. So this is all very standard for Gaia. Now to get those nice rocks though, you want to use outcrops after the erosion. And then you have fully intact, nice little rocks. So yeah, yeah, really only the only takeaway here is outcrops after erosion. After here it can get complicated if you don't know Gaia. If you do know Gaia, this is all very straightforward. So the idea is this this is just coloring. So yeah, model Y is very simple. Coloring it can get very complicated. Uh, so first you Get your set maps, set maps going. Combine it. And now we want to combine these, these two right here, right? With the soil right there. So I, I wanted the soil, so I got, you see how there's like, uh, you know, some light spots underneath the rocks. That's from the soil map. You can see right here. And I thought this was a bit too harsh, so you add a blur to that. Pretty simple. Right, that, yeah, that goes into the set maps. And The soil is going to be the mask for this combined node. Now for the vegetation, it's I wanted the growth right here. You can see the growth map. Kind of, I want it like around the water because if you don't use a growth map, it, it kind of ends up all over the place. But I want it around the water and I want it kind of blobby. So same thing, growth, blur. Um, I haven't plugged into both these by accident. It only needs to be in the, in the, the top one, in the high end. Lane, right? um, yeah, so the vegetation node, I just have it lots of chaos. And just play around with these sliders until you like what you see. Now, okay, now let's talk about the water. So the growth uh, outcrops grows into your lake. Then you want to mask to the into the rain. Um, this is optional, but without this, you have water kind of everywhere, and it, you know, I mean, Gaia is kind of random to begin with, so it's nice to have some control. So that's why I'm using a mask here. And if you want to get more with the control, you can use transform nodes, all that stuff. But uh, here's a mask. I want the water there, pretty simple. To use a mask, all you do is click on it and then click on edit mask and just paint away. Anyways, mask, and then this is where it gets kind of complicated. So, yeah, you want to use. Oh, I, I see. I, I use the, the, the lake output. For the growth, but you can also just use the outcrops. It's, it's the same thing. Um, yeah. So first, you want to add a auto level, auto level, blur, warp, because you you lose too much detail in that blur from the water. As you can see, the mass is changing, and this affects the water. Like we want that nice effect. It doesn't look too good here because it's only 1K, but 
You want that nice effect. That nice, that nice uh, gradient, basically. Uh, yeah. So auto level blur work. Combine. You can play it around. You can play around with all the little knobs until you find what works best for your scene. And in the end, we I just use two different colors. And I think I oh I have three here. I use two different colors, I guess, for my my colors. And boom, there you go. Hope that explained it. Hope oh, no, that explained it. Um, you might might have to watch rewatch a few parts for the no tree because if you get one note wrong, it's gonna be a nightmare. Anyways, thanks for watching.